All right, friends, they are finally here, what everybody's been waiting for in 2022, and that is the Paul Reed Smith SE version of the Silver Sky. I've had it in my hand less than five minutes. I am seriously impressed. I will say that mainly because of the neck carve. It was the reason that I could never get on board with the core model Silver Sky. Uh, between the neck carve, which was a little old school for my taste, plus the seven and a quarter inch fretboard radius, it was so foreign to the guitars I usually play. This one, it just, it fits my hand better. The eight and a half radius on here made a big difference in playability for me. Uh, now we're getting up there, you know, close to, Getting up there to where we're feeling like a more, you know, standard Fender uh, feel to it. Tone-wise, blowing me away. I'm, I'm feeling not quite as wide a range on the pickups as we did on the core 635JM pickups. But these are really, really Nice, especially the bridge position on here. Uh, these are the 635 JM S type pickups in here. Mm -hmm. That's the bridge pickup, tone up full on here. Uh, really not a hint of an ice pick quality to it whatsoever. I really like it. It seems to have a real richness in the low mids uh, that I, I wasn't expecting. Positions two. In positions four. Have got that quack to it that you like. Um, what I always judge a single coil of this type guitar is the neck pickup, obviously, and Nice, good depth on it. Not quite as much of that bell-like tone on the top end. But still, livable. You could dial in the amp even a little bit better. I put the stuff here kind of the way I would set it up for a Stratocaster if I was demoing one. And I'm actually inclined to, to brighten it up just a tad. Uh, I usually keep treble a little bit over 50%, mids a little bit below 50%, bass a little bit below 50%. I would crank it up a little bit more on this guitar. Even on the bridge pickup, just really good, thick, 
tones all the way across. Uh, I gotta say, I am impressed and uh, I'm surprised I like this guitar so much. Uh, let's take a quick listen to it at high gain. And I'm gonna start on the bridge again. That's really, really nice. Okay, go to position two real quick. Middle position. As you can tell, no problem with fretting out on the big bends on this guitar. And the setup straight from the factory, th this action is much lower than when we got our first batch of core model Silver Skies in. Um, and, you know, that extra inch and a quarter of radius uh, allows you to get that action down a little bit lower and not have to worry about fretting out. Uh, position four here. And then up in the neck position. Just overall, a very, very nice guitar and this may put it up at the top of my favorites in the SE line which surprises me even more to say because like I said there were things that I uh, wasn't a fan of about the core model. Let's talk specs just a little bit because this is where some people are getting tripped up. Okay, we do have Maple Neck beautifully finished, it's satinized, it feels great, no stickiness to it. We have the vintage style non-locking tuners on here, which seem very precise, very responsive. Um, happy with that. Two-point trim system, uh, much like you would see on the uh, core and on you know, the Fender models that are in this price range as well. Um, electronics do have a tone control dedicated to the bridge pickup, as you would expect on a modern guitar of this style a tone control shared by these two, and a master volume control. Uh, Five-way blade, as you would be used to on other guitars of this type. Body material, not alder. We do have a poplar body on this. Is the poplar body what's giving a little bit more richness to the sound? I don't know. I can't tell you that. Um, the tone wood controversy is something I don't care to get into right now, but it's a beautiful guitar. Uh, this one is the stone blue finish. We also have them available in evergreen, dragon fruit, and my favorite, just because it looks so vintage, the moon white. Love that. Okay, since we had to rush to get a video done because these guitars sold while the video uh, was being shot. So everybody's been rushing me along so we could get these shipped out right away. I thought a cool thing to do, since you've already seen, you know, a hundred videos probably comparing the core Silver Sky to the SE version of the Silver Sky. I don't really think that the players who have the budget for the core are gonna consider the SE. Just, just that's just what I think. So I thought, why not go back to a guitar that was the inspiration for the Silver Sky originally and uh, find something that was in that price range. And what we've got here is something that is 
identical in price to the Silver Sky SE. Uh, and that is a Player Series Stratocaster made in Mexico. The differences, um, semi-gloss neck on here as compared to uh, the satin finish neck on the Silver Sky SE. And I can tell you already, I mean, I just love satin neck, so that's probably going to get the nod there. Uh, we do have an alder body, uh, traditional Stratocaster materials, alder body, maple neck. Pal Ferro fretboard on this where the Silver Sky gives us rosewood. Um, we've got the uh, Fender Standard tuners on here. We've got, uh, these are, I believe, Al Nico 5 Player Series pickups on here. Don't hold me to that. I'll check before I put the video up. Uh, Two-point trim on here, uh, nine and a half inch radius fretboard on here. And uh, let's just take a quick listen and see how these two compare. thoughts on the comparison. First thought, my arthritis in my hand is killing me today. And believe it or not, the more comfortable neck was the eight and a half inch radius on the SE. I was still struggling, but it was just a lot easier to get around on. Um, when it comes to fretboard composition, you know that as long as the fretboards are finished well, I don't mind a Pal Ferro, I don't mind a Laurel. Uh, in this case, the, the difference was pretty obvious. The rosewood just felt 
better. The finishing of the fret ends, the finishing of the fretboard edges, the, the Silver Sky was far and away the better of the two in that category as well. Tuners, I'd have to give a nod just a little bit to the Silver Sky. Where do I think that I might give the player strat an edge? Just in the sound. I mean, if you really want the strat sound, which is a little bit more attack heavy, a little bit thinner, um, the player series strat had a little bit more of the bell-like chime tone on the neck pickup in particular. Positions two and four sounded nice and clear and had the quack that you expect from them on the clean sound, but even though the SE has higher output pickups, which was, it should be evident you know, throughout, especially on the clean tones, when it came to running it through the dirtier channel of the Mesa Fillmore, position two and four came out with more definition on the Silver Sky SE. They are not, you know, they're not the same tones you're gonna get from a Fender. I think if you're, you know, looking for Strat tones, you're only gonna get that exactly from a Strat. But I have to say the Silver Sky won in just about every other category uh, with me today. I love the sound of the bridge pickup on the Silver Sky SE. Um, I, I would use that in a lot more situations than I typically use a Strat bridge pickup. And all of the tones held up really well under some higher gain playing. Uh, the definition was just there on the SE. From the player side, everything about the core model, just, you know, gorgeous sounding guitar, gorgeous guitar, just wasn't my cup of tea. The SE was actually m much more in my wheelhouse. And if I was uh, looking for something with that single coil tone, lots of versatility, usability and clean and heavier gain, as well as not having to fight with the seven and a quarter inch fretboard radius, that Silver Sky SE knocks it out of the park. Hopefully, one of these days we'll get back to the old way of doing things where when a product launch happened, everybody's got the product and you can walk into a store and get it. Now a product launch pretty much means product announcement and you'll get it when you get it. But in this case, we got it. So that means that you got it if you want it. Give us a call here and talk to any of our sales staff about these gorgeous SE Silver Skies. You will understand what all the buzz has been about. These guys here are the experts in every brand that they sell. They're happy to steer you to the guitar of your dreams, whether or not it happens to be this gorgeous SE Silver Sky. But you are gonna to wanna to check this out. Give us a call. Till next time, have a great day and see you soon.